In short, I am preparing and scheduling a stream. Three questions. One, what should I use for free challenge cards, if not stream loots, which I can give packs out for free, but it's troublesome for the viewer. Two, what kind of card effects would be good for World of Horror in general, in your opinion, the viewer. And three, what stream time would be good? Among 3 a.m. Universal Standard Time, UTC, which is 7 p.m. PST, or 9 p.m. CST, which are the earliest, uh, which is the earliest time I can start. I also decided to make it my 100 subscriber thank you stream. The reason I didn't do one sooner when I got to 100 is because I don't count it. Considering how some may be old subscribers who may not be in YouTube anymore because of my own personal situation, and I want to account for reaching a true 100 if you get what I'm saying. Like I want to make sure I have at least 100. The stream will be on World of Horror, and that's where I need some opinions if possible. What I'm trying to do is, I want to set up challenge cards. Stream loots is the obvious choice or example that comes to mind. My problem is that I don't want my viewers to pay at this point in time, unless people really want to, but at least starting out I want to give people the option to influence my runs for this stream on World of Horror. The easy way is stream loots with its card system, but I can't make packs free. The minimum is 99 cents USD. If I had to use stream loots, I'd give people packs to use, but that means two things. One, I have to have people ask for packs if they want them for free. This also means they have to set up an account on stream loots, I believe, because I need to know the username and then I can gift the pack to them. Two, I feel asking people to use these cards through another website might be asking for too much work on the viewer's part, starting out anyway, assuming interaction is that high. So, an alternative would be to set up or find a custom application widget for OBS, since I use OBS to stream, or other site that allows me to set up a similar system. If I had to set up a system on my own or in a day or two, I'd do something really bare bones like this. Set up a custom command in chat to roll a random integer, then I'd be the one who'd need to activate these cards all on my own. The problem with that is I have to spend the time not playing the game to do that. Also, if I can't tie that to an alert, audio, or otherwise, I might just completely miss it. In short, it's a time loss on gameplay, which might be a bit too much. So that's why I'm asking the viewers if they have any other ideas. Any alternatives? Free for the viewers, I mean. Don't think too hard on this, it's ultimately up to me to do the work, but I figure some viewer opinion isn't harmful, and the viewers will have to do work if I have to use something like stream loots. A little bit, but it's still there. I'm also making art in case I end up using stream loots, and people are okay with that. But since I'm started, I think I got a bit carried away doing this. Second question if I get this going, what kind of effects or cards do people want? There are basic ones like investigate location and no using items for X investigations or mysteries. Good effects, neutral effects, like effects that are just for show. Throw a suggestion and I'll try to reply and say if I'm good for it or not. We can talk it out in the comment section below. About the stream, I plan to do True Believer as the difficulty for my runs because they allow more flexibility, or that's the thought. What should I do, what should I make, etc. Otherwise, I could just throw it all out and do a regular stream. I have a backup plan just in case. So yeah, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll go through the motions and say subscribe, watch more, and don't be afraid to say something if you like what I do. I'm just an average player playing averagely in games. JRDanMML, I'm out for now.